Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the June 6V, which was one of the latest additions to the V collection that was released recently from Arturia. We're going to be trying to create a five or six track loop using just the June 6V, and we're going to try and get as many musical elements out of this synth as possible. So sort of a new 80s inspired track. So let's get rolling. I've got a percussion sequence already dialed in here and then we'll build upon that. So let's start recording. Cool, so that'll be sort of like our top layer and I'll quantize that. I'm gonna duplicate this track and I'm gonna try and pull up a kick sound now. So let's go into our drums. I think 90s kick was a really cool sound if I remember from before. That's pretty perfect. I'm just gonna bring back the resonance a tad. I'll do and bring the frequency down ever so slightly. Okay, let's do the same thing and record this. And I'm going to quantize that and just duplicate that part. Okay, perfect. And same thing, duplicate this. I think we'll look for a, a, a bass sound. So let's go bass and maybe something sort of funky. Let's see what this patch is like. Yeah, I quite like that funky patch, so I'll go back to that. I'm going to transpose it down the octave. And I'm just going to bring back the pulse width. The detune a little bit. Make sure we have a sharp attack. And bring down that envelope. Okay, let's record this part. Okay, quantize. Let's try and do this in under five minutes. Uh, let's look for some sort of pad sound or maybe an electric key sound. Mellow piano, or maybe we have a Rhodes type sound. Uh, classic road, maybe this will do. Now, one of the nice features with this, we have chord mode. And I'm going to select a minor 11, a nice voicing. And again, you don't have to be a great keys player to play any of this stuff. Let's have a listen. That is really cool. That'll do. Let's go and record again. Okay, awesome. I'm just going to quantize that. And advanced panel, I'm going to bring up the dry wet blend, bring back the decay time. And same thing for the delay a little bit. And lastly, I think the last thing I'll add is some sort of sequence. Uh, let's have a look. Sequence and maybe something with a little bit of um, attack. Let's have a listen to some of these. That's what we used for our top layer. Okay, that's really, really nice. I've turned on the first chorus as well as the second chorus, so just making this a little bit more to my taste. And yeah, let's record this. This is our final part. And there we go. I'm just going to come in here and turn off the chorus noise that was on that patch because I could hear it getting modulated by the actual LFO. And let's have a listen to what we have. So bear in mind, this was literally composed in, I don't know, four or five minutes. And it just shows how versatile this synth is for modern production. So let's have a listen to what we've got. So 
So quite inspiring. I think you'll agree. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.